Uvalde Radio. Winner, 2021 Texas Internet Radio Chart Best Internet Radio Station. Finalist, 2021 Texas Country Music Awards Internet Radio Station of the Year. And finalist, 2022 Texas Regional Radio Music Awards Internet Radio Station of the Year. Uvalde Radio, redefining radio in Uvalde, Texas. UvaldeRadio.net, we are live at the 12th Annual Texas Regional Radio Music Awards. And I'm here with one of the future faces, or should I say now past face, because it's all over. <laughs> uh, but last yeah. night, 10 of the uh, kind of rising stars of Texas country red door music, I, I want to say competed, not really a competition, but just kind of see which one uh, kind of came up to that came out on top. And amongst the, uh, the, the future faces was Alora Leonard, who's with me right now. Alora, what's going on? Nothing much. How about you? I, I'm great. I'm sorry. I missed We kind of kept crossing paths and oh, you were on it, stage and yeah. I was doing like you know radio stuff yes but you, uh, busy. you yeah. looked great sounded even better uh, your family was out there a big old support system out I there did. right I'm pretty they sure I saw awesome. like grandpas and yeah. aunts and uncles and mamas oh, yeah. right oh yeah they were all there so first of all let's talk about it. What, what's the pasta you brought out how much family did you bring along with you oh I don't know um we did well we you're did, in Texas so there's a whole bunch yeah, of them so, so there's a whole bunch of them I want to say at least uh, 30, wow. maybe more than that. That's like so. a family reunion, man. Absolutely, that's yeah. So oh, that's a lot of support, right? Yes. Now, these people probably came from all over the state, right? Just to kind of yes. come hang out? Yes, we had some family that were here, and then we had some that were over by Dallas and Midland and, nice. and whatnot. So, yeah, they were all over. So, so you, you were up there. It was kind of like a singer-songwriter, kind of a swap kind of thing where you kind of took uh, – have you had you done any kind of format like that before? I know you're still relatively new, but yeah, no, I have done that uh-huh. format before. I know whenever I've gone to visit Nashville, I did some wide rounds like that, and so it was it was cool to get to do that again. I enjoy doing that format. So, so going into the I want to again say competition, but I say that in the most lovingly way possible. Right. Um, yes. Who who whose work were you already aware of on who's on your radar, and who did you feel the most heat from? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I had heard about Kate Watson and okay. a few of those other people, but um, I got to know several of them fairly well backstage, and they were all very, very sweet, very nice. W- so. Was everybody kind of nervous excitement? Was it? What was the pre? Oh, the pre absolutely part like? no! Everyone was super excited. We were all just a little nervous about it because we were all new to it, so we didn't know what to expect. But um, mostly excited. We were all really looking forward to having the opportunity. So I, I, I know that you uh, you did Old Soul Girl. I, I don't remember hearing your latest single, but I'm sure you uh, did. You do it as well too, or I many? did. It was the very okay. last song I did. Um, so yes. we were in and out with the audio interviewing all night. Sure, so but, sure. you, but but what I did hear was astounding. It was amazing. I feel like you just really owned the crowd. Um, how did you feel going into it? I know you didn't actually. Bitch, you weren't chosen as one of the performers for tonight. Sure. But how did you feel going into it? And after you were done, were you like, okay, I got a good shot here? You feel pretty good about it? I mean, I was just excited that I got to be right. in front of all those people. And uh-huh. it was it's my first time at the T3R Awards. And so to yeah. even have a chance to be a part of the Future Faces was awesome. And I was just looking forward to making contacts and meeting people. And so that was the whole goal that I had in mind. And I was super happy for the people that did. And getting in front of not only just a crowd, but a crowd of industry insiders, yes. radio programmers, other peers, artists, you know, songwriters, yes. uh, really kind of the cream of the crop of the industry. So Absolutely. you're seeing all the right people at one time. So yes. uh, obviously, you know, you made a, a big impact on the crowd and it's going to do nothing but help out your career. And uh, I guess just brought in your imprint. So what's in the future? I know you just released a new single. Um, I did. Let's talk about that song, uh, San Antone. Yeah. So give us the backstory on that. Actually, I guess since we're doing this work, ceremony, we'll, we'll try to cut it quick and uh, we'll get into your song. But give us, right. talk about San Antone. Absolutely. So San Antone, as you know, I grew up in Hondo and was raised there. And so that's my hometown. And I'm getting ready to graduate high school here in a couple more months. And so uh, my buddy, Lance Carpenter, he and I were chatting about that and all the changes about to come about in my life. And we decided we should write a song about it. And so we went back to my roots in uh, San Antonio and decided we should write about that. Well, it is a great song. It has kind of that kind of coming of age kind of vibe to it, you know, which is really appropriate for a young lady, you know, of your age and the changes. I mean, you, again, you're a high schooler, right? And you just performed with some of the biggest rising stars in the Texas country industry. Some people that are, you know, I mean, that have been around a while, actually. Much, yes. much I mean, maybe ge- maybe a generation older than you. So, yeah. congratulations on so much success. I mean, obviously, there you've got a promising career ahead of you. I mean, that's, of course, 
if you decide even to stay in it, right? I mean, you're going to college, and you might decide to be a lawyer or a brain surgeon, right? Who knows? <laughs> no, well, what are you going to yeah. say for serious? Well, no, I'm definitely going to stay in the music. Uh-huh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But um, I'm thinking about doing a Berkeley College of Music online. Oh, good. So we're thinking about doing that, but I don't know. I don't know what uh, my future holds for me, but I definitely want to stay in the music. Well, we business. know it's going to be a success either way. So, again, we're at the 12th Annual Texas Regional Radio Music Quarters. We just spoke to Alora Leonard, uh, who we were, we, were, we were voting for yesterday. We, you actually got our vote, so, you know. Oh, well, thank you. But, uh, you know what? It was a pleasure seeing you out there. It's a pleasure seeing you tonight. So, let's do the new song. San Antonio, this is Alora Leonard, and this is UvaldeRadio.net. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Last night I was thinking Watching that sun sinking Distant church bells ringing Lord, I miss this place Waking up before the break of dawn Feed the horses through a saddle on Hearing mama yelling, don't belong I held freedom in those rings There's gonna come Lost and found. I'm in nothing to no one until you pick me up off the ground. Like a stray dog off of the streets, I was shivering to the bone. You gave me shelter from the cold, freezing rain Inside the comforts of your home And you'll find behind my crooked smile Hiding beneath the red wine on my breath 
lies the fear of losing you. God only knows how just the thought scares my heart half to death. Cause when push comes to shove, only your love loves me for what I'm not and what I am. And for once in my life, I don't feel like an unwanted man. I was a long rolling stone Headed southbound On a slick downhill slide Until you reached out Softly took my calloused hands I was never satisfied You're fine behind My crooked smile Hiding beneath the red Lies the fear of losing you God only knows How just the thought scares my heart half to death Cause when push comes to shove Only your love loves me for what I'm not and what I am And for once in my life I don't feel like an unwanted man Radio.net. Hey, it's Robert Miguel once again checking in from the uh, from Texas Live in Arlington for the 12th Annual Texas Regional Radio Music Awards, a gala event. Uh, the biggest names in Texas country, Red Dirt, also producers, songwriters, radio folk, all uh, here for uh, Texas country's biggest nights. And uh, I just saw this young lady walk the red carpet. She made that red carpet look good. <laughs> Indy Jean is here. What's going on, hey, man? Hey, how are you? It is so cool to talk to you. Uh, yeah, you so too again. Yeah. We played a couple of your week. Well, we played your last single and your current single. Yes. It's, it, and we've got you coming to Uvalde pretty soon. Yes, we're very excited. Have you ever been to Uvalde or even I driven have not. through? Never even driven through, no, right? No. So um, now, where where are you from? Where were you based out of? I'm based in Fort Worth. Very good. Yeah. Yo, that's right. You do a lot of, you do like a, a regular kind of a girl power showcase out there, right? I do. Right? I do have a female songwriter showcase called Hey Girls. Right, yeah. I love that yeah. title. It's cool. Yeah. You, you got some big, big players. Very great names. Like a whole year roster booked, right? The whole year is booked out for 2022. And I'm, well, I'm give me some of those stoked. names. I mean, you got yeah. the best of the best. I do. I mean, we've, we've got, um, so I'm trying to think for the first month, we have a... Uh, Oh, goodness, you put me on the spot. It's um, okay. If you heard of them, she's got them yeah, booked. I mean, They're Holy all really Tucker's great. coming this year. Awesome. We've got Ariel Hutchins coming this year. Miss Jen Ford will be there with us again. And I've inspired her, I think, which is my biggest win for Hey Girls this year, to pick up a guitar and learn how to play some of the songs yes, for Hey Girls. 
else. Five other people been complaining yes. all year long. So she's going to play her own guitar this year, and that's a win for Maybe. me. I'm going to work on it. I, somebody gave me a Takamini, and I named her Tammy Takamini. Jen's not committing yet. She's like, maybe, she's, possibly. She's maybe, sort of, kind of <laughs> Look, thinking about playing player's been guitar. making me play his guitar during soundcheck and making but, me sing during soundcheck. How is that coming along? <sighs> I mean, be honest. It's okay. It's okay to be vulnerable. I like... It's hard at first. I like to play the tambourine more than I like playing guitar. But you're in a comfort zone where you're used to doing a certain thing, right? I use a guitar to write my songs. And then I give it to somebody else who's way better than me. (laughs) So it's just a matter of getting in a comfort zone with that guitar all the time, right? Yes. If I know her, she'll be there, and it's going to be great. So you have... have You're very influential on the other artists as well, too. I hope so. I hope so. I just... all around I do. I do. I I'm a... Like literal spot, like I'm just so proud because you know, I mean, like just as a female in the industry, it's not necessarily that we're competing with each other, but sometimes we do find that like there's there are some mentalities, or like there's only a certain amount of spots for girls. You know that that, that is a that weird thing, thing weird in thing. this industry in particular that um, a lot of the festivals or bills will yes. put like seven, eight guy acts, and then maybe the wall will throw the girls a bone. We are few and farther between girls all the time. We are few and farther between, but uh, but I do I love that too because we need to come together and be able to be champion each other instead of having to compete. I with think each it's other. happening a lot. Well, I, but, but I think I do see a, a new a new set of female faces rotating yeah, yes. through it. Yeah, I, I think it really is. It's um, amazing because I can't pay them burn. very much, yeah. and, and all of them are willing to just like come and be a part of this sisterhood and. It really ends up being that way. Well, no, well, let's, very... be, let's be honest. Texas country, one of the great things about country is the traditionalism of it. You know, kind of like the old school of it. But there are certain modern, you know, themes that we must embrace, you know, as far as equality, you know, and, and whatnot. Um, but, you know, again, like you said, slow burn, making progress. Sometimes it's slower than you might think. Or... I think yeah, and I think with Texas country, we get a lot of that outlaw feel. Uh-huh. And, and I think... That's not just singular to, to males. Mm. Like, there's outlaw women, too, and right, I think right. the guys enjoy that, too. I like <laughs> punching people in the face every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you stay away from Chris Rock, all right? <laughs> well, he's had a rough week. It's never been a girl. It's always been a guy. So. <laughs> Usually he's been trying to touch my butt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he gets a rut in I had the same problem. <laughs> Because you're pretty hairy. No, well, thank you very much. She just touched my butt. She just touched my butt. Everybody just touched my butt. I'm sorry, don't get touched. I'm going to touch her in the face. I'm going to touch her in the mouth. She'll wait until she's off the air. Again, we're live at the uh, Texas Regional Radio Music Awards. Candy Jean is here, Jen Ford Crash yeah. Party, and having a great time. Let's, uh, Candy, let's get back to your, your, yes, your yes. new song. The new song's Busy Bee. Busy Bee. And you are a Busy Bee. I, mean, I am busy, yeah, and I love it, every minute of it. But Busy Bee, it's not super country. It's really kind of... In the sense of modern country, I right. think it's more of a throwback. So it's kind of like I tried to embrace that old Patsy Cline type. It really feel. does have, but but it does still sound modern in a sense. Like you can almost you almost get like a ZZ Ward Adele kind of vibe yeah. in there as well too. Yeah. So in, in, in a weird way, yeah. It's so kind of in the pocket, just kind of just it, it really caught. I think the production of it really caught the groove that I wanted. So is this your song? Is it, it a co ride? Is it so? It's a hundred percent my song. Do you generally do your own music? Is that what you try Usually, to do? Usually, but this week I did have a new duet come out with Dana Deathridge. Oh, and okay. It's, it's kind of a it's a comedic song, so it's okay. almost like that John Prine feel. Like, oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, like with the spite of ourselves, and uh, there's a couple other kind of slapsticky like bantery kind That's of fun. songs That's cool. between a, a guy and a I girl. haven't heard it yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. You'll yeah, have to hear awesome. it. It's, it. It is laid over some just amazing bluegrassy kind of music. You know, Milo Jerry played on the strings. And pretty sure it was Josh Rogers and Aiden Bubeck that played at the back line on the, on the drums and, and wow. bass at, at SG Studios. That's where I recorded too. Um, but it was... Honestly, it was the most fun I've ever had in the studio. We were laughing so hard because all of the banter, if you listen to the end of the song, mm-hmm. was all just ad lib. We didn't have it scripted at all. That's awesome. And we were just like back and forth, just kind of teasing each other and poking and prodding. But it's called Redneck Wrecking Ball. If that, Redneck if that Wrecking Ball. that paints a picture I for you it. in any way, you know. I love it. I, well, if you're half naked on a boot giant wrecking ball, I just <laughs> want to let you know. I just want to let you know it's already been done. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got Kenny Jean here. Hey, you're going to be in Uvalde, I think. I don't have the schedule. End of April. End of April. I think yeah. it's April 23rd or the 30th, one of those. I think it's, it's one of those for okay. sure. Okay, so, so y'all check uh, evaldiradio.net to find yeah. the events tab and uh, get details. Come out and see your Friday Night Live at Broadway 830. Great pizza, delicious uh, cold beer, and Candy Jean performing. It's going to be a great time. I'm looking forward to seeing your set live. 
Yeah. And um, what else is coming in the future? I mean, you're beautiful. Any, like, video shoots or anything like that? Oh, we need to we, see more video of Kenny Jean. Oh, I think we're probably going to be doing a video for Redneck Wrecking Ball. Cool. Definitely. And then I have a couple new singles that haven't been recorded yet that are, like, kind of in the works in the studio. I have one that's just uh, very folky and very stripped down. And then I have another one that's just kind of like a jammer. And I'm really excited about both of them. But uh, there's, you know, some talk about a, a video for both of those as well. So. Well, cool. We look forward to everything you're doing. Yes, um, go you. ahead and give us, like, the social and the website. Where yeah, can we yeah. find more about you? Kindy Jean Music. I'm on uh, kindyjeanmusic.com. Kindy is K-E-N-D-I. Jean, J-E-A-N, music.com. And then I'm Kindy Jean Music on Facebook and on Instagram as well. Well, it's been great talking to you. Let's go and get the new song on Busy B. That's heard on YvaldeRadio.net. We're we're excited to hear it live at at Broadway Bureau coming up at the end of the month. Again, check the calendar, YvaldeRadio.net events, and uh, find out what Candy's playing because I've had drinks and I don't remember. (laughs) But, Candy, thank you so much for taking some time with us, right? Thank you. All right, it's YvaldeRadio.net. We are live at the 12th Annual Texas Regional Radio Music Awards. Uvalde Radio, winner 2021 Texas Internet Radio Chart Best Internet Radio Station, finalist 2021 Texas Country Music Awards Internet Radio Station of the Year, and finalist 2022 Texas Regional Radio Music Awards 
Internet Radio Station of the Year. Uvalde Radio, redefining radio in Uvalde, Texas. Radio.net. We are here live, the 12th annual Texas Regional Radio Music Awards, Texas Live in Arlington. Uh, it's night two. Man, last night was crazy, and I'm so glad that I survived, and I'm here to do it all over again. Uh, this time in a kind of a lesser capacity. I worked my butt off last night. Again, it's Robert Miguel here, and thanks to our sponsors, uh, Graf 7A Ranch and Hondo. Uh, visit UvaldeCounty.com, only in Uvalde.com, and Main Street Uvalde. Those guys are uh, kind of uh, taking care of all of our travel expenses and... Uh, things to make, everything to, to get this uh, broadcast on the air. But it was a great time. Ten rising stars of Texas country last night with the Future Faces Showcase. And um, one of the one of the uh, participants was Cynthia Roush, who I've got right here, right now. Cynthia, how are you, ma'am? I'm good, Robert. How are you? I'm just going to high-five myself on the radio for pronouncing your name correctly. You all through all. last night, even though I was drinking whiskey and coke all night and a couple of shots. Uh, so we got on the air. I was like, how do you say it? Just to make sure. And it's like Radio people have one job. 
just to pronounce words correctly. You know what I mean? So, um, so all right, that, that makes you feel good. You were one of the future faces. You did not, you know, you weren't given the opportunity to perform tonight, but you put on a great show as always. So g- give me um, give me the uh, experience in a nutshell, I guess. How was it for you? It was just, like, such an honor, first off. And I just really enjoyed being on the stage with so many amazing artists. And uh, just to be uh, have that opportunity, uh, I... I it was just surreal. It was just a really great opportunity, and I enjoyed it so much, and I just had a blast. And I would love to do it again, but no. I, I know I can't. <laughs> well, we've got Cynthia Roush here right now, and she was uh, one of the uh, one of the performers last night at the Future Faces. Now she's here at the award ceremony. Anybody you're kind of if you're relatively new to the scene, any anyone that you're kind of fangirling over that's out here tonight that you're excited to meet? Oh, I don't I don't know who all's gonna be here, but I'm <laughs> I'm already like, like oh my gosh! Like, 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 like if you saw X walk in the door, who would that be that you just freak out over right now? Uh, well, uh, last year I fangirled over Aaron Watson. Uh-huh. I didn't even see Randy Rogers till he's on the stage. So if he walked in, I'd probably have a moment. <laughs> I fangirl over uh, Aaron Watson. That is a, that is a manly man. <laughs> oh man, oh, I'm getting I'm getting a little flush right now Calm thinking about down, it. Sir. I know he's married. I know. Uh, I kid, I kid. But uh, no, it's, it's so cool. Um, and, and of course, it's a great place to network, right? And just right, kind of, right. You know, yeah. There's- so, so you're you're really new to our audience. So, give us, I guess, um, g- give us some highlights. What have you managed to accomplish so far? Uh, releasing records? Any like high profile shows you're excited? Any opening gigs that you're excited to talk about? Well, being from Kansas, it's not going to be as uh, relevant to your art audience on uh, <laughs> shows. But I have a possible upcoming opening opportunity for Jared Neiman in, in uh, Kansas. But uh, I also uh, I've released an album. Uh, it's on Spotify, iTunes, all that, and uh, I have a. Like I said, uh, the two singles to Texas Radio and so on and so forth. I'm just like, it's just the beginning. You got, I'm really ready new. To go. <laughs> well, well, give give us the, the quick plug on uh, social media, websites, all that good stuff. Uh, go to CynthiaRoush.com and all of my links to all my social media. You're gonna have to spell there. Roush for the people. They're from South Texas. All right, C Y N T H I A R A U S C H. R A U S C H. All right, yes. very good. Cynthia Roush. Uh, let's go ahead and um, we got we got your new song. Go ahead and give us a quick intro and tell us what it is. All right, two country for that. I'm really excited about it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, we're Uvalde Radio tonight, live from the 12th Annual Texas Regional Radio Music Awards. You will find us out tearing up the streets, rounding up trouble with everyone we meet. We're too country for that. And we ain't wants to abandon our jobs, letting things go till we've lost all we've got. We're too country for that. country 
UValleyRadio.net. Hey, Robert Miguel, checking in one more time from Texas Live in Arlington for the 12th annual Texas Regional Radio Music Awards. Thank you to our sponsors. I'm not going to mention them because I've mentioned them a zillion times already. But we had a great time last night. Of course, we're here at Texas Live now, the big arena, huge screen. All the all everybody's dressed the nines. It is the night for Texas country and red dirt music. But last night was kind of the pre-party where the uh, Future Faces showcase happened, and then afterwards, Love and Chaos performed with a special appearance by the one and only Scotty Alexander. And we happen to have Mr. Scotty Alexander right here, right now. What's going on, sir? Hello, my friend. How are you, man? What a nice event, right? Tell me about that show. First of all, what did they do to get you on that stage? How how, how did that work out? Well, uh, AJ, the producer, right, who mm-hmm. is uh, the, the lead, uh, one of the leads yes. in Love and Chaos. He had called me and he just said, hey, man, if there's any way you're going to be up early, we would love you to come in and play some fiddle, play some guitar with our band. And uh, what he didn't tell me was we were going to do about eight or nine original songs I'd never heard before. And so we just <laughs> jumped in there and went for it and uh, and had a blast. My God, what a great band and what a great time to kick this off. Now, for those of us who were done the wiser, it was perfect. I mean, I know that you're, <laughs> you're a, a master musician, so I'm sure you felt every you know, miscue or kind of bad choice, right? It, it, but you're doing this all in real time. It is. It's, yeah. it's You're learning it as the song goes by, yeah. and you're trying to anticipate everything that's coming at you. Sure. And then, you know, AJ or the band throws you a solo, and you're like, well, what the hell chords am I supposed to solo over? You know, you, know, you kind of you go through that panic for a half a second. Uh, but it turned out great. I mean, we read each other well. The band played great. And, uh, God, we had a blast. But isn't it that kind of stuff that keeps you on your toes, on your edge? Keeps your edge, right, I would think? Just like anything, like songwriting or performing or anything else, sitting in with a band and not knowing the material but mm-hmm. being able to play with them is yet another skill. Yeah. So just the, the art of improv is very important at that point to be able to follow as quick as you can. And thank God I had some good guys teach me early on how to how to hang on. Quickly. Well, and we've talked about this many times. You're a multi-musician. Um, musician. I mean, so g- give us a list of all the uh, instruments you play again. Well, if you go back to the record, um, if you go back to the record, Guilty, uh, I played uh, drums, bass, banjo, mandolin, acoustic, fiddle, electric. Uh, you know, just kind of had a touch of all of that yeah. on that record. And then as we get busier and I'm able to farm some more stuff out, now I play. Uh, I'll, I'll only play bass on a couple of songs. But fiddle and guitar are my main instruments. Yeah. I'll play some mandolin on this new record that's coming up. We've got a bunch of new mandolin parts coming up, which I'm excited to share. And, then, of course, always guitar and fiddle. And, and, of course, guitar and fiddle, that's the bread and butter for you. I mean, you've been nominated for, like, fiddler and guitarist and, yeah. uh, and, and vocalist. And, you know, um, so let's talk about, are, are, are you up for any awards tonight at this event? We are. We're nominated for a new male artist. Nice. Uh, and I think uh, Clay Hollis is also in that category. Uh, Tristan Mraz may be in that category as well. It, but anyway, that's what we're nominated for tonight, and we have two performances. So I got a performance uh, with my band for the new single, which is called Single Wide. Okay. True story of the mobile home park I grew up in. Nice. And I right. uh, can't wait to share that I with you. I love a good old white trash country song, man. You're damn right. It's coming, buddy. <laughs> All right. And, uh, and then we're also going to do uh, Devil Went Down to Georgia, where I play fiddle with uh, our friends uh, Rico and Kinfo. Now, see, we talked about this last night. I had Kinfo on it at the Future Faces show. Yeah. And, and they said that apparently our little video clip from that Hondo show made the rounds and that inspired Dave and the the guys to I guess, ask you to do that or something. That's that's story they told me. So Well, that's why this whole thing is reciprocal between all of us, right? Yeah. All of us need each other and that's why we're in Texas country music and the community couldn't be better, man. It, it, it's so fantastic and I cannot wait to see you guys. I mean, it's one thing to do, you know, to, to burn down the barn in Hondo, you know what I mean? <laughs> but this is going to be fantastic with the graphics and, 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 yeah. and all the whistles and bells and, and the elite of, of the genre all here watching it. So it is. It is. Now I know. I know the answer to this, but you know, again, world-renowned type of player. But do you still? Is this kind of thing? Is it still intimidating? Do you get a little bit of jitters? Well, absolutely, because this is in front of your peers. Right. Yeah. You know, this is the people that you tour with. This is the people that you see on the bill. These are the other artists that you're fans of. Mm-hmm. You know, like when we, my daughter and I, were just talking about. What a, what a huge fan of, uh, of Wilder Blue we are. Yeah. And, of course, we love Brie. And so Brie, her boyfriend, plays guitar for Wilder Blue. Yep. So those now you're performing. You're putting your art on display in front of your peers that you admire. Yeah. That's way more nerve-wracking. It really is. It's way more nerve-wracking. So, you know, I'll, at some point, as soon as I get a, a taco down my face here in a second, I'm going to go back and hang on to the guitar and just stay loose and, yeah. and be ready to go. Well, man, well, we know you're going to tear it up, do a great job as always. Um, give us that an ETA on the new music that you're, you're working on. When's that, that going to happen? Uh, we will have in four weeks the new single, Single Wide, okay. out for everybody. Um, we'll do a series of digital releases after that. 
And then uh, we also have a new album I'm so excited to share with everybody. It is a acoustic cover album of all the great standards that I grew up performing. Oh. It's me and my band with just a couple microphones, just singing and playing everything from One More Last Chance by Vince Gill to Go Rest High to to uh, You Look So Good in Love, Amarillo by oh, Morning. Nice. Just the stuff that's the core of our genre. You know, I, I, it kind of like the old days. Remember, I don't know if you remember the, the, the mid to late '80s when all the rock bands started doing like these MTV acoustic type, yes. you know, albums. Um, yep. But uh, Tesla did five man electric or uh, acoustical jam, and yep. yeah, I mean that's something that your hardcore fans, especially, are going to love. But then something that will also bring in a whole new set of fans that are are going to appreciate the cover songs. Songs they're already familiar with. I certainly hope so. Yeah. I mean, these these songs are so dear to me, and the band did such a great job on them. And it's also a very raw look at our artists our, our, our artistry you know as opposed to a very polished record that we put yeah. out for you know that you know cody jinx doesn't have a polished sound he intentionally goes for that rough sound right right we all kind of kind of polish our you know mm-hmm. i really especially like doing that kind of stuff but this album's going to be raw so i can't wait to share that it's going to make it feel real and, and live and very cool well scotty always a pleasure to uh to talk to you and even more fun to watch you go so looking forward to seeing both your shows tonight at the 12th annual texas regional radio music course good luck on your nominations man thank you my friend i appreciate it and thank you guys so much out there for all your support please tell the girls back at the opry house i said hi Absolutely. i really enjoyed our visit last shout year. out to caitlin and camille uh, scotty loves you he'll be back soon and uh let's go and do one more reason here scotty alexander and this is uvalde radio.net thank you sir thank you my friend Rodeos, you love George Jones, you like your vodka strong when you get your buzz on. You got the long hair, you got the dare you got the cowgirl fight I'm gonna love tonight. Like I need one more reason to love you more than I already do. Cause if I had to pick just one, honey, you don't think I could choose. Look at me and say, baby, there ain't nothing we can't get through like I need one more reason to love you. Radio.net live at the Texas Regional, wait, the 12th annual Texas Regional Radio Music Awards. I'm Robert Miguel checking in from Texas Live in Arlington. I had a great night last night at the Future Faces show. Tonight is the big event, the big star studded gala event. And our local coverage is brought to you by, uh, let's see here, Graf 7A Ranch in Hondo. Also, um, 
Visit uvaldecounty.com, only in uvalde.com, and mainstreetuvalde.com. One of the uh, nominees tonight uh, for best female vocalist is Caitlin Kohler, and Miss Kohler is here with me right now. How are you doing, Caitlin? I'm good. How are you doing? It's, it's, I'm great. I've had a great couple of days. Yes, it's good to see yes. you. You look beautiful as always. Thank you very and I'm much. sorry, I know you're getting ready to dine. No, it's so all we'll try good. to make it super quick so you can yes. get some, some food in you and get, get on your merry way. Seating is crazy, huh? Finding I a place know. to sit. I, they've got everybody in different places, and they won't let your people sit. So, like, my family's upstairs. I'm down in the pit. I'm like, I don't know. We, we've all got reserved seats, but they're, they're not yeah. actually. We've got numbers. Yes. But they're not actually in order. Oh. There's nothing. They're not actually. They, so, it's a very weird, That's random. Nice. Yeah. So, <laughs> so enjoy your food. Thank you. So, it's nice to come and find yeah. your seats. It's going to take a while. Yeah. But, uh, so, you got to be jazzed. New female I, vocalist of the year yes. nomination. So yeah. do you um, do you remember who you're kind of up against? Who the other nominees uh, yeah. are? Yeah, I know there's like Ariel Hutchins, Kate Watson, Taylor Dunn. No, no, Taylor I think is up for the for the female. I think it's okay. um, Holly. I know there's I know there's a couple more. I feel wow. bad, but there's there was a couple, so I don't remember all the so, names. So I mean, but. you got a pretty solid chance. You got yeah. a big number one last year, right? Yes, and sir, did yeah. you would you get at least another couple of top tens on your belt, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the too many love songs made top ten, and then this was, and then uh, remember you is actually number eight right now. Yes, it's insane. So yeah, yeah. so you're and I'm, I'm still. Too many love songs. Still, one of my favorite uh, uh, of the of the female country yeah. genres. Oh my god, it's, I think it's the perfect song. Thank I seriously you. do. Like I, every time it comes up on the other radio, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. still sounds so good to me. So yeah. the new song is "Remember You." Yes, sir. And uh, give give me a quick background on, yeah. on that song. Well, that one's just kind of about you know um, you broke up with this with your significant other or whatever, and it's like they want to get back together, but you're like you know we had great times and the, and it was and it was good, but there's a reason why we didn't work, and so there's a reason why we. we we shouldn't get back together again and so it's like let me just remember the good times that we had like i don't want to ruin those those memories i want them to stay good memories so what a nice what a real yeah. nice sentiment yeah. yeah so uh it's a great song it sounds real good on the air Thank what's you. coming up after after this because i mean yeah. you're already top 10 uh any yeah. plans for another single or uh, yes, an album yeah we got now? we got a couple um we got a couple projects in the works and so we're just working on the cover art and the isrc and everything codes right now just to get those out so when this is done with its rotation, we'll pick one of those, and I'm excited about those because I actually got to um, go up and record those with um, Buck Johnson, who plays the keyboard for Aerosmith. That's awesome. He wrote those, and he's like, and so I got to write with him, and he recorded, and it's it, so that I'm excited. And we talk about, about this because you know, yeah. you know, your dad's kind of an '80s, '70s yes. classic rocker kind of guy, and yes. you're kind of raised on that stuff as well. I too. was, yeah. So, so, so like, yes. I'm like, I grew up listening to Aerosmith yeah. in his truck, and then I got to, I was, I was so excited. I can see you and your dad. Just you know, trucking yeah. down the street. Dude is like a lady. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Yeah, we're five years old. Me and my sister have no idea what that song actually means. It's great. We just thought it was funny. <laughs> what a rude awakening, right? Like, yeah. Dad, really? Dad, really? I know. Uh, awesome. Again, Kayla Cole here. I know you've got a plate of food yeah. and a seat to find, so I'll let you go. Right. But we're going to go ahead and get into your song, uh, Remember yeah. You. Uh, and you're hearing it right here on UvalderRadio.net at the 12th Annual Texas Regional yeah. Radio Music Awards. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, good to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah.
2021 Texas Internet Radio Chart Best Internet Radio Station. Finalist 2021 Texas Country Music Awards Internet Radio Station of the Year. And finalist 2022 Texas Regional Radio Music Awards Internet Radio Station of the Year. Uvalde Radio. Redefining radio in Uvalde, Texas. UvaldeRadio.net. Robert Miguel once again live at the 12th Annual Texas Regional Radio Music Awards. And it is a gala event. We just saw all the uh, fantastic uh, stars of Texas country, red dirt, walking down the red carpet. And one of the flashiest, sassiest people on that red carpet was the one and only Brie Bagwell. She's here with me right now. Oh, my gosh, Brie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I did wear all the sequins. You have all You have all the sequins. There is no more, not even in China. Nope, it's all gone. That's right. I just feel like the one time a year where I'm not, like, wearing jeans and a T-shirt, and I'm like... I'm so, it up. so this year the red carpet was very sparkly. Is that something yeah. all the ladies kind of got together and said this is the thing of this year, the sparkles? Kind of. And also our friend Adrian Johnson, who's a great singer, she has a store in East Texas called Sheality that is okay. sponsoring the red carpet. Oh, okay. So that's where the stress is from. And they sell online too. So get on there and buy it because it's so cute. You know what? You got to give Brie Bagwell up. A- just always there with the with the promotion, with the thanking the sponsors, yeah. doing it right. You're well, a pro on every single level. Thank you. I so think with all, what is it? I don't, rising tide rises all ship. What yeah. is it? I'm the, I'm the that, worst. What, at what that. you said? Yeah. Something like that. No, but, but anyway. it's true, and and that is and, and that is a lesson that uh, rising or, or you know working new people in the industry need to learn that you know what. It, it, Competition isn't good. Just yeah. having everybody's back is gonna is gonna get you the furthest, right? Totally. There's room for everyone in the scene. Like, there's always room for more people, more girls, more boys. So it's like, let's just all get along. Well, uh, and of course, you know, you've got like seven or eight female vocalists of the year trophies to prove it, so it's working for you. Yeah. Let's talk about a little bit of drama. You had a hard time getting to town yesterday, right? Everything okay? Everything's good. We we just hit, we heard a noise, and then our front tire in our van just... Hate that. But it was, it was really crazy, because it was Sunday, everything was kind of closed. Yeah. We found one tire shop that had our tire, and they helped us out, you know, in a big way, and like a stranger that drove a truck, like... Help, keep pulled over and helped us change our tires. It's just like people are so nice. It See, always works out. But again, that's that positive juju. That's yeah. that energy. That you know, that's yeah. coming back at you. Huh. Um, so, Bree, you've got another kind of busy night. Every time these things happen. You know, uh, people like you end up working just as hard as you would any other regular gig, right? So, yeah. what are your duties tonight? I know you're going to be kind of co-hosting, right? I'm co-hosting with Kelly Fry and Eric Rains, and then um, I'm up for a few awards, and then after that, I am partying. Right on. With all of my friends. Where is the after party tonight? Is there an after party officially? Yes, at Troy's over there on the corner. It's Troy okay. Aikman's bar, so that's oh, pretty cool. So it's close. It's it's walking distance. Oh my Robert. gosh! Remember that last time we walked like in I down. Remember. What was it? Uh, in Cowtown. Yep. And we yep. we walked down that alley back way, yep. which seemed like a the sign was very visible, but I was like, oh gosh. I'm an obese, borderline diabetic man. You're going to kill me here. At this right. Ceremony. That's so crazy. Oh, uh, look at that. Don Mills photobombing us in the middle, in of, the middle interview. of the interview. That is why Flatline Road is such a successful band. Yeah. And- <laughs> what a you got to have one, Robert. You we gotta have we one. interviewed him last night, and he told us the most fantastic story about his... Uh, drummer or guitarist ending up in a Mexican prison. Yeah, so anyway, that's another thing. Not I'm not de- surprised. Not to derail you. Yeah. Um, so, um, hosting Upper Subtle Awards. I know how we always ask you, there's sometimes you're too hard, I mean, too, too many to count, right? Video of the Year is one of them for Heroes, right? Yes, and um, Female Vocalist of the Year, actually Entertainer of the Year, and um, I think an Album of the Year, even though my album's really old, so... 
So I um, um I'm so Ar- thankful for that. <laughs> Ariel has a lot of um, nominations too, so she's kind of been coming up. Um, and I asked her this last night, if you had to pick only one of those many that you're nominated for, what's the one you kind of really want that you're kind of want to dig into this year? Interesting. I've never, I mean, maybe Entertainer. I've never won Entertainer of the Year. Uh, that would be really neat. Uh, also, I'm a big Ariel fan, just for the record. <laughs> All right. I love Very her. good. Um, so, yeah. So, Brie, I know uh, it's a big night for you, so we'll let you go. Uh, any other cool things coming up, big festivals or high-profile high shows you want to talk about that's coming Ooh, up soon? Ooh, I'm trying to think. Why well, I, I actually may have a show in your town coming I, up. I've heard it might be a honey of a good time, maybe. I'm <laughs> hoping that that is coming through, so yeah. maybe that one, so be on the lookout for that. Right. Um, but, yeah, we're all over the place, and then I got a new record coming out this year, 11 songs coming out. Wow. That is so awesome. And you're right. I mean, it has been a while, but we talked about this right when the first single came out. It's got legs, you know, the, the, your last Thank one. You. And, uh, and And I'm glad that you really... You work it, you know. What I mean, you, you do it old school style. You put those singles out, you keep it fresh, and, and it's always new to somebody. So, but brand new stuff, we are not gonna re- we're not gonna turn that down. Either, I so. love it. Thank you. And I'm, I was trying to think of like my big festivals coming up, but they're all. I'm going to New Mexico a lot. I'm playing with the Cumbia Kings yeah. and with the Energy Boys. Yeah, I've up, seen so. a lot of those kind of crossover kind yeah, of shows. Yeah, little with you. crossover shows coming up. So if That's anyone awesome. can make it out west, that would be great. Well, thanks again for spending a few minutes with us. I know you got a lot of work to do. Let's go ahead and do that song, Heroes, since that's up for oh video here. Oh, my gosh, here. that's perfect, yes. And we're going to do it here at the 12th Annual Texas Regional Radio Music Awards. Free back, well, yeah, and this is Uvalde Radio. Thank you, ma'am. Love it. I asked you to play me, Miami, Miami. I found you love Whitley as much as I do. You gave me your Martin. Play Dolly Parton and try to show I do more haggard than you. We had a connection, but your vinyl collection was a needle straight to my heart. Sewn up broken pieces with old masterpieces. Our love is a true love of art. And you And we tend to smile When you turn on some red price And turn off all the lights 